What's up and good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Today is the big day for the OBS, and, and like I said in yesterday's video, this is probably one of the most needed modifications we're gonna be doing to this thing, and that is building a custom center console, getting rid of this stupid jump seat, flip up, useless center console with cup holders that are only that deep, and well, pretty much anytime you hit the brakes, everything goes uh, flying out. We're gonna be completely ripping this out and building a custom center console that reaches from here and somehow ties up into the dash portion over there. I don't really know exactly how we're gonna do that. I've got some ideas in mind, but I don't know. Let's just kind of see what happens. Oh yeah, and kind of the icing on the cake is the uh, OBS here is actually getting a full sound system as well with custom subwoofer built by uh, DD Audio. So that's gonna be awesome. I'm excited. The old girl is uh, getting some love today. So we're back here at Ronnie's Electronics. These are the guys that are gonna be doing the entire custom center console build, the sound system install, I see we got uh, Wes finally picked up his Escalade that he was looking at. This is Wes's Escalade, right? Yeah, this is Wes's Escalade right here. Yeah, you guys gonna pimp it out for him? Uh, nah, he said nothing. He wants to actually go smaller wheels. He wants to do 13. Oh, that's not Wes's then. <laughs> Wes wants 30s, right? <laughs> Side squeeze. <laughs> oh yeah, I should have known. Hi. Come on, bro. It's a Ford. You know the you know the door handle's broken. <laughs> You're trapped in that thing. I was like, where the hell is the door handle? He wants four cup holders um, on the top side, so two in the rear, two, two in the in front. The front. Okay. Um, we have the 2508 install on the 1000. Now, do you want the sub firing down or do you want it firing back? Um, that's what we want to talk about. Probably firing back. I don't care. Um, I don't want it. To get beat up back here. So basically, what I want is like kind of mimic the size we got here. And so like, no, no taller than this, really. Yeah. Well, yeah. I want it to be an armrest. Okay. And then I know we had talked about making it open. Okay. So I could put some. You know, I just need a big hole to put a bunch of shit in. I carry a bunch of shit with me all the time. I got you. And then I don't care if it drops down at this point and then ties in or however you want to. Yeah, because the whole thing doesn't need to be the enclosure. It'll be pretty much just the rear half of right. the, the console since it doesn't need a lot of space. So the front half will be shaped. You'll have your cup holders up here I can do the storage compartment up here and then you know the window up here if you want or the window in the back yeah either one's cool like I said like to me I just want it to be kind of like a modern center console yeah, yeah like, I got gotcha. you we'll just insert USBs to the front of it okay and we can run one on constant one on accessory or whatever the case needs to be done I hope it's right because like I said it's, it's sealed up let's see what we got yeah, made in the USA by real humans <laughs> Oklahoma City. Hold on, does this cause cancer in California? Yes, of course. All right, perfect. Cardboard, cardboard. All right, good. Look at that. The wet carbon. The gray logo. Supercharged. Supercharged subwoofer. The booty on there. Dang. Chrome logos on the basket. Nice. This thing should look pretty good. I dig it. I dig it. Heck yeah, dude. Damn. You want to see your app? Since we upgraded, they don't know about it. Uh oh. Upgraded the DM1000. Uh -oh. So double the power from what you guys saw last time. Still have the base knob up front, four gauge power, everything should be rolling good. See that? We're coming for you, Wes. This is it. Game <laughs> over. Look, Wes isn't here today. We're upgrading everything. But shout out to DD Audio. We're at DD yeah, Audio. Hook DD us up. Audio. DD Audio is killing it right here, doing a full setup with them. So I vacuumed as much as I could under there yesterday, but there still might be some french fries. Oh, I'm sure it did. No matter how well you clean, there's always going to be something. <laughs> right. I'm on my truck new from the dealer that said they detailed it. I found all kinds of like plastic spoons and like all <laughs> kinds of shit in there. So we got the old center console out. John's over here making some measurements before he works his magic. Three feet tall. Perfect. Perfect, bro. There you go. Yeah. Be like the dudes that put right. this. Yeah, the super long shifter. Like yep, there you go. You're yeah. Secto? I'm at your aunt. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Is it is it because your your size? Like, yeah, I'm little. They call you Ant? Yeah. Oh, we got to get everybody thinking. What, what's his name? <laughs> Rudy. Rudy? Oh, you yeah. got the best name. You got the normal name. <laughs> yeah. How, how'd you get my, lucky? My real name is Alfredo. Alfredo? Yeah. All right. Alfredo. What do you like better, Alfredo or Ant? Ant. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my part and clean up. Cheese it, french fry pretzels. 
<laughs> Possibly a lollipop stick. Do you sell these super sick uh, cord reels? Yeah, these are a one-time fee, uh, like snap. I'm, oh my bad, it's got that. <laughs> I meant to say uh, snap on. Well, for, if I spend three grand, do I get a free koozie? I'll get you a koozie. You got me a koozie? I got you two koozies. One Ooh. for you, one for Wes. There you go. You <laughs> Look at like the like rough. A sweet. Wow. Cardiofails.com. Check that out. New worst. Oh, you gotta love it. And it's wrapped in tape. Yeah, wrapped in tape, bro. That makes the wire thicker, you know? More conductivity. The tape's <laughs> huge. That's the, that's the trick, huh? Yeah. For the high quality audio? Yeah, you know. You, got, you guys are doing that over here, right? You're wrapping all Everything this. Everything in tape. All this is getting wrapped in tape? Yep. Dang. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Easy guy. <laughs> so when I had uh, my backup camera done on the truck, I didn't feel like running that wire, so I took it to a local audio shop, not Ronnie's Electronics, <laughs> and they were like, well, while you're here, you want to upgrade your speakers? And I'm like, screw it. It was like cheap. And I was like, yeah, I don't want to run, have to run the new yeah, wires to all the doors. So if you don't know about these old Fords, if you have the factory amp, you have to rewire all the speakers, right? Yep. There's a name for it. Is there, is there a name for it? Uh, amp bypass. I am bypass. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> you have to uh, bypass the amp and run all new wires to all the doors. And I just didn't want to do that. I didn't have time and it's a pain in the butt to run wires. So while they were doing that, they're like, yeah, we'll throw some new speakers for you. And I'm like, okay, for the price, screw it. Uh, you get what you pay for, huh? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys just saw they wrapped all the wire in electrical tape and had some crappy fittings and yeah. We'll get you taken care of, all straight up. Do you think we should take it down a little bit more or what are you thinking? I figure you're the pro. The so actual can... box itself is gonna be in the back half. The like speaker box or yeah, the actual yeah. like the speaker box. Where's my like? And the then the compartment's be gonna be in the top. So it'll and be then from... it'll be compartment. This whole front half will pretty much be open. Uh, a cavity. I'm gonna make this whole section a cavity and then the little storage compartment up here. Gotcha. Well, if we then, brought that down an inch and then this and down. And then I can make this compartment a little bit lower and bigger. Yeah, I mean, I like I like the shape that you have, but if we just dropped it all yeah, yeah. together an inch, and yeah. then what do we have, two cup holders here? Yeah, yeah, you have two cup holders here and then the two in the back up here. And then this will just be flat? Oh, no, no, it'll be open. And then what are the cup holders sitting on? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them like the Chevy style where they, if you get what I'm saying, how they can yeah, lock yeah, it in place, yeah, yeah. so you can make it removable, so you can you know store more shit in there if you need. No, you know, you get me, John. You, yeah. I'm excited now. And then, are we still gonna have a? Yeah, you'll have a, a compartment up here. It'll be about three inches deep. Okay. And then the sub will be down fire. I'll make a pocket for it so it doesn't hit no brackets or nothing. And then I'll have put a window back here. I can't put a window up here just because of the cup holders and the compartment. But I'm sure you'd rather have the compartment yep. rather than the window. Come on, hey, man, look at that. Hey, bro. Yeah. Look at that. Delivery service. Yeah. So we're dynamating where each speaker goes? Yeah. I'm going to do inside and outside. And then while they're in there, if you guys remember the other day when we had to cut the firewall to get the downpipe in and having that little bit of rumble and extra noise inside the cab. So I'm also having them pull back the carpet in the front. My buddy Ant-Man over here, is, uh, he's on it. And then we're gonna dynamat the whole floor in the, the front of the cab to try to eliminate some of that vibration coming through in sound. All right, oh, all right, I didn't cut through the floor, we're good. Might be a little high by the time we okay. put some padding on it yeah, and yeah. double it up, make it throw some thick foam on there. Yeah, usually on the top we go double just because, you know, you don't want to be resting your, like, elbow on a hard yeah. surface. Yeah, but this, I like all this. This looks killer. And then are we going to do, like, our little USB things yeah, there? Yeah, that's where I'll put the USBs and probably a volt meter or something. Getting out of your way, John. You're killing it, buddy. I'm loving this. It's for an Impala? Yeah, 73 Impala, glass house. Um, doing a 6-inch Bama mid-base and 3-inch mid Bama mid-high center console uh, cup holders and lights and mesh grill all the way around. That's going to be Killer. This is slick. I like this. Getting even more excited for mine now. <laughs> nice, Hopefully throw dude. a little voltmeter in here so you can watch his voltage. He's getting a real big system in there, so it's crucial to watch um, your voltage. He's not buying my speakers or my no, subs, no, right? No, no, those are all put to the These side. These are mine, right? All right, yep. both of them, right? Yep. I want to be the only guy. Ooh. <laughs> True. So right now we're trying to decide exactly what we want to do for wrapping the center console. As you can see on this one, the sides are all done in carpet. And to me, uh, I think carpet's just gonna hold up better on the sides if things are banging into it, my camera bag, a cooler, whatever it may be. And then on the top is where we'll do the vinyl where your arm is gonna rest. So we're grabbing a couple color samples right now. We're gonna go see kind of how they match up to the gray in the OBS. So we got regular gray and then we got the salt and peppery gray. That actually matches a lot better. Actually it does, I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, I think we'll go with probably with that on the sides. I don't know, but now that I'm looking at like, now that I look at how good that looks, like. Maybe we vinyl the sides. We can vinyl the sides too. I mean, I'm down. It looks killer. I thought we were gonna see like less of it. We see a lot of it now, so at this point, I don't know, we might have to. What do you think, dude? 
Vinyl's gonna look best. If you do, I can make it a little smaller. I actually do want to make it a little smaller because I want to make some accents on the side. You got everything getting mounted up here on the back wall. Nice and clean. John, I'm coming into your world. Do you mind? Sure, right ahead, Are you sure? I know everybody's workshop's a different thing. Go right ahead. It's not my shop. I just rent the space. There you go. <laughs> Fair enough. Got his router table built into the feed table for his table saw. So John reminds me a lot of Dave in the way that he just really likes to kind of geek out on making jigs, making templates, all that for the routers. And speaking of Dave, I think we found a rig right here for Dave. This is like, it's just enough classy, just enough gangster for Dave. I mean, we all know Dave likes spoke wheels. This is like kind of a play on spoke wheels, but the coolest thing is, uh, yeah, I think that says Dave right there. Check out the interior. Everything just white on white on white. I can see Dave rocking this. Hey, kick this guy out of your shop. Nah, kick him out? Yeah, kick sure. him out. My security is on his way. Whatever you're charging this guy, make sure you up it at like 200%. How's it going? Adam. Chris. You're not nice allowed to do business here. You gotta leave, buddy. <laughs> Shut up. You gotta leave. No. <laughs> Bro, you want me to throw a stereo in for you? Well, I was thinking, thinking about getting some rims. We got some uh, some Sony Explodes. <laughs> we'll take care of you. Oh, no. What are the ones that came out of my truck? Orions. Orion's I got a set of Orions, bro. I'll sell you. Real cheap. Chris is going through the same thing I went through when I came here. You just want to buy a bunch of stuff. <gasps> Chris, bust out that wallet, bro. Is it back there? Let's see light. it. It's light right now. Oh, dude. He's grabbing you the big one. God dang. <laughs> DD Audio <laughs> M3. Yeah. You need that, Chris. Yeah. Yep. Where, are you, where are you at, Wheezy? <laughs> oh, oh. So this one will do every bit of about 5,000 watts to your subwoofers, clean. Um, the M-Class series is like the Cadillac of amplifiers, so they have a lot of different kind of engineering to it. Um, it's top of line, Korean board. <laughs> I know how to sell Chris. There we go. It's better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's all you got to do. Sell. Sell. That's, that's all you got to do to sell Chris. Just tell him it's better than mine and Chris will pay for it. You're good. This is service around here, guys. We were just talking wheels and he's like, what are you going to do on the Tahoe? I was like, 26. And he's like, why not eights? I'm like, well, I want to be able to clear them and I want to, I want to be able to turn. He's like, dials up a phone number and look, we get delivered a, a Tahoe on some 28s with a 2-3 drop. Dude, this paint job is crazy. Chris, this is what we're doing to your truck, bro. Yep. Right here. We're actually going to take it out and just slap it in real quick. There you go. You like blue? <laughs> I hope you do. Look at that. Look at that. We're running the same subs. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should we go 28s or should we go 26s on Tahoe? We're like this close to ordering the wheels for SEMA, so. Uh, I mean, but I don't know. I mean, that, that's close right there. Oh, what are you doing? I don't know. I saw Shaq do that once where he like. Shaq put a sandal? Well, Shaq, Shaq wears size 28. Like 28s. 28s or something like that. Yeah, only 13, dog. I, I tried. So you're just a little dirty, though. I'm not touching it. Chris, you got a bronze hood now, dude. Look at that. Ooh, I don't know who touched it, but Chris's truck is filthy. What happened? Your alternator? Yes, a new. This is new. This is. What's this one? No. Huh. So, me and Chris have always wanted like an old school ice cream truck like this. I don't know why. Like we found one for sale one time in front of a guy's house. We went to go buy it, but he wanted way too much money for what it was. Chris, I don't care if it's a one seater, dude. Like I'll drive, you be in the back tossing out free ice cream. Come down. Right? Let's go. I'm gonna ask him if he wants to. You think to rent think it. he'll rent it to us for a weekend? Yeah. Alright. It doesn't start though. We're going to the next car show. <laughs> We're taking the ice cream truck? Damn, that'd be sick. We gotta build a show ice cream truck. On some 30s? Can we fit some 30s on it? It's got round wheel wells. We fit some 30s. Chris, see if it starts. Nope, because no, we're not, gotta, we're not mechanics, you gotta, bro. Dude, you gotta we're buy not, him an ice cream. Or you gotta buy I'm, gonna, ice I'm cream. gonna buy an ice cream from him. Yeah, I feel bad. The guy's truck broke down right here. Oh, we got the real one right here. Jumper pack. Hey! Oh, this thing sounds. Like, this thing's me, bro. Hey man, is this thing is this thing for sale? Huh? You wanna you wanna sell us your truck? Yeah. How much? Thirty five hundred. Thirty five hundred. Uh, forty. 40,000 or 5,000. 40,000? Yeah. How much do you make in one day? It depends. Depends on how many hours you work. Uh, you know. Is it good money? A couple hundred bucks a day? Easy? You work eight hours, you got it maybe 200, 250. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good money. You got the watermelon bump up? We'll talk. We'll see you around here. Yeah, we'll, we'll be here. We'll, we'll I hear every, every day. Okay, yeah. perfect. We'll close your hood. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Thank you. you know. Woo! That's a Ferrari. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I bought, I bought you ice cream. No, you can't say I never bought you nothing. Can you buy me my system? Nope. 
You want to talk about it? No. What happened? Brain freeze. So the guys are over there cruising on the audio install. Let's see how John's doing on the actual center console build itself. You love making templates and stuff, huh? Yeah. You geek out on that? I got a buddy that's the same way. That's like his favorite thing in the world. how much we take in consideration to vibrations and rattles. This thing's probably got 40, 50 cans worth of spray foam, um, a couple hundred feet worth of dynamat, wood, roof. Um, this thing's Crazy. fully loaded. This is actually getting the 224s, um, 20,000 watts. Uh, this thing's gonna be tanked. So we gotta sell Chris on a system like this. Yep. I got some liquid nails. <laughs> we got some MDF in there. We'll just glue it all over his truck. Uh, on the inside and outside. Yeah, yeah, we'll screw it. I mean, well, if you paint it bronze, he'll let us put it on the outside. There we go. It's yeah. a Woody. <laughs> Perfect. Ronnie's electronics. We pimp out anything, right? <laughs> anything. Ice cream trucks, Scooters. skateboards. Bring it. There you go. Oh, no, we'd have to get you a different clamp. So, story of my life, John was cranking out the center console today and then kind of fried his router. So, uh, the center console is on hold until tomorrow when they bring a new router over. We've got most of the wiring done. I think we're just buttoning up the last little pieces of the wiring of all the speakers. Obviously, the subwoofer's not in right now because, well, the subwoofer's going in the center console. We did run into a little issue with the joying head unit. A lot of these, like, cheaper Chinese head units do weird stuff when you hook up systems to it. So it was like, when you put it into Bluetooth mode, it was, like, shutting off one of the triggers or the relays or something weird was happening. I don't know. So they bypassed that, and now it sounds like everything is uh, working. You can hear it in the background there. All right, Chris, we got the computer out. You gonna, uh, you gonna tune it for me? Get in there, bro. You gotta tune it. He's my tuner. Ah, uh, it looks good. You got it? Yeah. Uh, all, all, all the levels are good? All the levels are good. How many ferrets? Uh, 20. 20 ferrets? Alright. Oh. Where'd you cross it over right on the... The ganks are too hard, though. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Well, guys, phase one of OBS Center Console build is done, and that was basically the measuring, laying out phase. So obviously, I still have the center console put back in because they need to work on the center console here. Um, obviously, the router went out, so they're getting a new router tomorrow. They're going to do a lot more work on it. I think it's going to take about two to three more days of finishing, painting the center console, wrapping the center console, getting the sub mounted in it. Uh, there's a decent amount of work that actually goes into building center console for these things, but I think it's gonna be absolutely awesome. And I'm really excited. And these new speakers already sound a thousand times better than the crap that I had before, and these were actually tuned, whereas I'm sure the first ones were not tuned at all. Even without having the sub in, this thing is just like, it's a, a world of a difference. So with that, we're gonna wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Work for apparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah.